Well, hello, and welcome back to Margo Easy Coding. My name is Margo, and I'm here to present you with another of my videos. We are learning how to code from the CPT code book, Evaluation and Management, face-to-face -face with the doctor, patient and the doctor. If this is your first time watching this video or my videos, uh, I will recommend that you go back and you watch my first videos. So, because we are building up all the CPT codes and in order for them to make sense to you, um, it's better if you watch them in order. Also, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget don't forget to share and thank you for all the views. Thank you for all the, my subscribers. And today we are going to learn about to code for the critical care. Critical care um, when the patient is in the ICU, which means the patient is not doing well at all. So the doctor has to be with the patient in the same room, in the same floor. The doctor has to be constant, constantly monitoring the patient. We have learned how to code for when the patient is in the office for a new and established patient. We have learned how to code for consultation when a patient sees a specialist. We have learned how to code for the emergency room. We have learned to code um, for the observation room. We have learned to code for inpatient consultation and for the inpatient initial and subsequent hospital visits. We have learned about place of service and patient status. Today, we are going to learn about how to code for when the patient is in critical care. And I also need to mention one more thing that in one of my next videos, we will definitely talk more about it, but today I have to mention it and I'm talking about modifiers. Modifiers are always two alphanumeric codes that when you add that to the CPT code, either changes the meaning of the code, adds information to the code, takes away information, it's just additional information um, for the CPT code. And today we have to use one of them, but again, don't worry, don't panic. We are going to cover all of them eventually. Today we are going to learn about one modifier. That modifier, and it's going to make more sense once I use it, but that modifier, so for you just to start learning, is going to be, it's like a plus sign and that modifier means add on code. And that's gonna make more sense in a minute. Just keep in mind, keep, keep in mind. Okay, first of all, for our codes today for the critical care room, um, our place of service is 21 obviously because the patient is in the hospital. The patient has been spending few days in the hospital, if not weeks or months, I don't know, but the patient is in critical care. Place of service, inpatient. So we have two codes, however, one of them, which we are gonna be using the add-on code, you can use it multiple times. So, but let me start from the beginning. And I just wanna read something real quick from the CPT code book, which by the way, if you have the CPT code book 2020, this 
Critical Care Services are on page 23. Critical Care Services is the direct delivery by a physician or other qualified healthcare professional of medical care for a critical ill or critical injured patient. A critical illness or injury impairs one or more vital organ systems. So there is a high probability of imminent or life-threatening deterioration in the patient's condition. In other words, the patient is in critical condition, in a very bad condition, okay? Let me just um, tell you that these codes are mainly for children and adults. We're going to learn eventually about coding for critical care, but for babies. So this is not for babies, okay? This is more children and adults. We have two codes. Our first code is 99291. 99291. This is our first CPT code for critical care evaluation and management. This is only for the first 30 to 74 minutes. You can only use this code from 30 to 74 minutes. What is 74 minutes? Well, there is 60 minutes in one hour. So one hour and 14 minutes, okay? 99291 is a doctor providing services to a patient in the critical room from 30 to 74 minutes only. Okay, so what about if the doctor is with the patient for 75 minutes, 80 minutes, 90 minutes, two hours, three hours, four hours? Okay, this is where our add-on code is coming. Our next code is 99292. 99292. 99292 is for each additional increments of 30 minutes. That means that after 74 minutes, you're going to use 99292 for each additional 30 minutes, as many times as you need it. This code in your CPT code book has a plus sign next to it. A plus sign means add on code. Add on code means that it is a code that you can use as increments. And every single time you see the add on code in any CPT codes, also means that you cannot use this code by itself. In order for you to use 99292, you have to use 99291 first. 99292 cannot be used by itself. Oh, the patient was in three hours. Let me use 99292 this many times. No. First, 
you need to coat for up to 74 minutes by using 99291. Everything else is going to be in increments of 30 minutes. So let's say that the patient was in the critical room, critical care unit, and the doctor saw the patient for two hours. Okay. If you know math, good. If not, pay attention. I said two hours. How many minutes are in six and two hours? 120, because there is 60 minutes in one hour. So we have 120 minutes in two hours. But we said that the first 74 minutes are going to be code by using 99291, one time only. So then we have remaining 46 minutes. 99292 is for each 30 minutes. How many 30 minutes are in 46? One in minutes. One in 16 minutes. So that means that you're going to use for the 46 minutes, you're going to use 99292 two times because yes you have 30 minutes but you have more and each up to 30 minutes you have to add 99292 that's why is this modifier is called add-on code for each additional 30 minutes you're gonna keep adding your 99292 let, let me give you another example. Let's say the patient was seen for five hours. Five times six is 30. So we're talking about 300 minutes. 300 minutes, my first 74 minutes are going to be taken care of right here. With my nine, with my nine nine two nine one. So then we're going to have two hundred and forty six minutes left. So what we need to do is divide two hundred and forty six by thirty, because each thirty minutes is gonna be represented by the nine nine two nine two. So right here, let's see, uh, seven, seven, no, actually eight, I'm sorry. Perfect. There is eight 30 minutes in 246 minutes and six minutes. So are you gonna use eight? No, you're gonna use nine because there is more. There's another one that it could be up to 30 minutes. So any remaining, you convert it in another 30 minutes. So that means that if the patient was seen for five hours, you're gonna use first 99291 and then you're gonna use nine times your 99292. Make sense? Don't complicate your life. Like I always said, it's very simple. You have two codes for the critical care unit. For the first up to 74 minutes, you're gonna use 99291. For each additional increments of 30 minutes, 
you're going to use 99292 as many times as you need to. 99292 has a modifier, which is a plus sign, which means that this is a add-on code. The add-on code cannot be used by itself. You have to have a primary code in order to use the add-on codes. The place of service is 21 inpatient. The patient is in critical care. So remember, you're just going to use 99291 for the first up to 74 minutes. And then you're going to make your math for the remaining time. And you're going to use 99292 for each additional 30 minutes, as many times as you need to. So you're telling the insurance company, the doctor was with the patient for, first of all, up to 74 minutes. And then uh, he was there for five hours. So for the remaining... You use nine times that code, and what happens is that you're gonna put that CPT code, and then you can you can list it nine times, or you can just put nine nine two nine two, and where you're gonna put your number of units, you're gonna put nine. Where are you gonna put the number of units? When we talk about the CMS form, the form that you use to build insurance companies, you have place to put place of service, date of service, the amount of obviously your CPT code, your modifiers, and um, guess what? The plus sign is actually not a modifier, it's a symbol. And the bottom of your CPT code in each one of the pages you are going to find all these symbols. For some reason, when I started this video, I said that it was a modifier. It's not a modifier, and we're going to talk about that. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. This symbol for the add-on code is a symbol. It's not a modifier. I'm too advanced in this uh, video already to erase it and go back. So just make sure that you understand this. My add-on code is a symbol, has nothing to do with modifiers, okay? I made a mistake by calling it modifiers. It's not a modifier. Modifiers we're gonna learn eventually. And yes, those are two alphanumeric codes. So let's recap. Critical care unit, place of service 21. For the first 74 minutes, you're going to use 99291. For each additional 30 minutes, you're going to use 99292 as many times as you needed to show increments of 30 minutes. When you see a CPT code with a symbol, like a plus sign, it means that that CPT code cannot be used by itself. That CPT code is a add-on code. And it helps you to understand that it's something that you need to add it as many times as needed. Okay? And remember, we're going to talk about modifiers eventually in another video. This is a symbol. And the bottom of each page of your CPT code, you're going to see your symbols. And we're going to talk more about them. We're going to talk more about them, each one of them. Today, we'll learn about a symbol plus sign, which means add-on code. And today we needed to learn about it because we have to use one of them. So again, two codes for the critical care. Your first code, 99291 for the up to 74 minutes. And then 99292 is a add-on code with a plus signs, which means add-on code, which is a symbol. 
and you're going to use that for increments of 30 minutes. Okay? In my next video, we're going to talk more about symbols. We're also going to talk about modifiers, and we're going to keep uh, coding for the evaluation and management face-to-face. -face. And we still have many more to go before we start in another section. Okay, well, that's it for today. Uh, don't get confused with the little boo-boo that I made early. I call this a modifier. This is not a modifier. This is a symbol, okay? As you can see, I'm a human and I make mistakes, but I know you got the idea because you're very smart. Thank you so much. These videos are for beginners. These videos are for you. It's my pleasure to make these videos. And I try to make them as many as I can, but if you see that I don't come for a few days, don't panic, I'll be here. What happened is that I have many other things that I have to be doing, but I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you so much. Like my videos, subscribe, like, share, okay? Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.